Welcome back, Truth Seeker. Someone asked if I could cover the death of Cliff Burton, the former bassist for Metallica, who died September 27th, 1986, when the Metallica tour bus crashed. He was the only band member that was injured, and not only injured, but killed. And I suspect the entire story of the bus crash that killed him is bullshit. And you can watch... There, there's been an interview done with the entire band about the crash and how they all survived, but he didn't. When they tell the story, they just all seem like lying frauds. And what really happened to Cliff Burton is he was murdered as a ritual sacrifice. And I'm going to show you why it was him that was chosen. Let's start with the date he died, September 27th. That's the Jesuit order's birthday. Those are the Masons within the Catholic Church that have been murdering people all throughout history. And they were on the Master of Puppets tour. That was their album, Master of Puppets. The Jesuits are the Master of Puppets in this world. They're the ones controlling the New World Order. And they treat the world as a stage. And they pay for people to be their puppets, and their ongoing theater show. But look at this. He died in the year 86. The word blood sacrifice has Gematria of 86. Cliff Burton's full name was Clifford Lee Burton, summing to 86. So how perfect for him to be ritually sacrificed in 86 on the Jesuit order's birthday. His birthday was February 10th. He was born in 62. He was 24 years old. From his birthday that year to his date of death was 229 days. And in the Primes cipher, Metallica equals 229. 229 is the 50th prime number. What's interesting is the Primes cipher also factors into the death of Hugh Hefner, who died this year on the Jesuit Order's birthday, by the numbers. Remember, Hugh Hefner died at age 91. The Jesuit order was established on a date with numerology of 91. I noticed that from Cliff Burton's birthday to Lars Ulrich's birthday was a span of 91 days. And that's probably not coincidental either. Because that's the one guy that doesn't have any business in the band. He can't play his instrument. Lars Ulrich, one of the worst drummers ever. And in one of the most famous rock bands there ever was, Metallica. You know, why don't they have a better drummer? Why is it him? Practically a no talent. As for Master of Puppets, it has Gematria of 78, just like Jesuit. Getting dead on the Jesuit Order's birthday on the Master of Puppets tour. Master of Puppets also has Ordinal Gematria of 210. Cliff Burton's birthday was February 10th, 2 slash 10. Dies on the tour. The word Jesuit in reduction is 21, just like Bible's 21. Notice how similar 21 and 210 are. As for the date he died, date with numerology of 42, the word bus equals 42, dead in a bus crash, reportedly. The word Jesuit also has reverse reduction gematria of 42. He went by the name Cliff Burton, Cliff Burton 54, like Jesuit order. The singer for that band, James Hetfield, who's also not the greatest musician or vocalist. I know a lot of you Metallica fans really like him, but I mean, he's not that great. His voice isn't anything special. It might suit the music well, but Metallica could be even a better band. The, the real talent in that band was the bassist Cliff Burton who was murdered and their guitarist you know the drummer couldn't be any more mediocre and James Hetfield completely replaceable he also died 55 days from Hetfield's birthday sacrifice 55 Satan 55 the word bassist equals 55 the bassist got killed but it's not hard to see what really happened to him, you know? It was another murder by numbers. And think that song had been released in 1983 by the police. About how it's as simple to kill as ABC123. And 
there's nothing unusual about this. This has gone on all throughout rock history. Members of bands getting ritually sacrificed. Almost every major band has had this happen. And it's always by the code. Somebody else, the same person who asked if I could do Cliff Burton, which I used to have a video on, but it got taken down with my channel. They asked if I could also do Randy Rhodes, who I used to have multiple videos on. Let's just do Randy Rhodes real quick in connection to Ozzy Osbourne. Randy Rhodes died on March 19th, 319. We have to pull out the satanic cipher here. Prince sung about 319. Prince died 319 days after his birthday. Killing equals 319. Masonic, 319. Lucifer, 319. This is another number throughout history connected to ritual sacrifice. And the story of Randy Rhodes was that he was messing around in a plane and he tried to fly over the tour bus and it ended in a practical joke that ended in his death. But look at this. He died March 19th, 1982. And here, let's look at Ozzy Osbourne's birthday. Remember the date, March 19th, 1982. Ozzy Osbourne, death, why does that come up? Ozzy Osbourne birthday. Ozzy had just turned 33 years old, December 3rd, 1981. So he was 33 years old. Check this out. From his birthday, his 33rd birthday, December 3rd, 1981, to Randy Rhodes' death, March 19th, 1982, 106 days later, or it was his 107th day, which is the 28th prime number. The 28th prime, and the word kill has this gematria of 28. Another pattern throughout history. Ozzy Osbourne remembered for being in Black Sabbath. Check out the Gematria of Black Sabbath. 82 and 28. You see? He died in 82, 107 days after Ozzy's 33rd birthday, 107, the 28th prime. Rockstar, by the way, is 33, you know? And it's all masonry doing this. Masonry 33, secrecy 33. This is the order of things. The people who run the industry, they demand ritual sacrifice because they're following the biblical code where in the Bible, the God of the Old Testament, Bible 33, demands a lot of death, you know? And there's even more to both of these deaths and I cover them in the book. But this is what's been going on all throughout history. You know, ritual sacrifice often in tribute to the, the people who survive on. So we'll leave it there, truth seeker. Until next time.